this video, as you know, is I'm gonna do a Bantu knot out on my hair, on stretched hair. So let's get started. Make note that I'm starting with the front because the front, like from here to here, is the only twist that are gonna be like specially twisted because I'm gonna twist them flat and then from the front, from the back to the front, they'll sit more like a bang, if that makes sense. I'll be using Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls. So you really want to use a dime sized amount in this case of gel to put on each section. Um, so I'm just going to flat twist the front. And after I'm done flat twisting each twist, I say after about every two twists, I'll go back and bantu knot it. I would like to note that I had to secure some of these with bobby pins. So if you're going to do this style, make sure you have a couple bobby pins on hand. Okay, so I'm finished and tired. It's almost two o'clock in the morning, okay? But let me show you the back. So, yeah, moisturize, gel, and uh, the, well, the gel doesn't flake anyway, but I like to put an oil underneath the gel because it prevents it from like getting tacky and sticky, but it still holds. I'm gonna go ahead and put my edge control on my edges and put a scarf on it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon. Alright, so it's the next day and we're going to start off by taking out all of those bobby pins and then spray it with an oil and then gently take down each uh, twist. So I'm just separating and fluffing, separating and fluffing. So it was actually raining that day, so I decided to put a little scarf on to help preserve the style a little bit. So that's what I'm doing here.
that's it. That's how you get your fluffy been to not out style. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you on my next video.